from the worldwide campuses of Troy University, this is Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News. Hello and welcome to Trojan Vision Nightly News for November 18th, 2010. I'm Adam Turnseed. And I'm Julissa Ellis. Thank you for joining us this evening. Some people may not think much about supporting a cause until the illness <laughs> strikes close to home. And one Troy student found that out. With the help of a few friends in a college campus, a miracle could be in the making. Rachel Ellis has the story. It's the story of a little girl and a family brought together by the support of a college community. It kind of started out, she just had a headache one day last November and mom and dad, you know, just gave her some medicine. She started getting real sick. So then they had an MRI on her brain and they found the tumor. Aaron Bryn Johnson, also known as EB, is the cousin of Jared Johnson, a Troy University student and brother of Alpha Tau Omega fraternity. EB was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer a year ago. Anaplastic epidemia, I believe it's uh, it's very rare cancer. It's, I think it's 100 people in the whole world gets it a year. I think it's about 2%. It usually happens with children under the age of 10. She was three years old when she had it. She's four now. It's just unbelievable the, I mean, what she's gone through. I, mean, I couldn't imagine. Her cousin's fraternity brothers wanted to do something special to help the family. So they held a six pack party Wednesday night to collect pop tabs off of soft drink cans. We're collecting them for the Ronald McDonald House, and if we get a certain amount, she gets to stay there for free. It's a big deal. Uh, I've had I've had friends who've had cancer, and uh, just to help a, a young girl out who has her whole life ahead of her is just is something that's just really cool that we can do as a campus as Troy. And uh, everybody just coming out here tonight is just just shows everybody loves this little girl. Twenty five tabs. That's all it takes for Troy and Marla Johnson to stay one free night in the Ronald McDonald House while their daughter receives treatment. I just wanted some brotherly help. That's, that's all I wanted and they went above and beyond what I asked. It's grown not just this campus but other campuses around the state and it's just very humbling to know that this many people care. E.B. and her parents traveled to Birmingham on Wednesday to discuss experimental treatment plans. She's a fighter. And uh, she's strong. I love her to death. I hope, I hope these experimental treatments that they may try on her help. And maybe they can name one of them after her if it works out for her. I think that'd be awesome. Rachel Ellis, Troy, Trojan Vision News. And the tab collecting didn't stop there. The ATO brothers say they plan to make the six-pack party an annual event. In a little over 24 hours, Troy University students will head home for Thanksgiving break. But as they were leaving town, there are a few things they might want to do to make sure their holidays stay happy. Ben Stanfield has the story. It's the holiday season in Troy, and that means two things. A lot of traveling, and sadly enough, a lot of thefts. The key to returning happily from your holidays is to remember to use your keys. Lock up before you go home, and if it means something to you, it probably means something to someone else, so take it with you. There are a few simple things you can do to protect yourself. First, lock your doors. Lock all the doors to your house and car. Close your blinds, too. And again, don't leave your valued possessions behind. Um, well, I'll probably lock up my room and take um, you know, anything valuable from there, like my laptop, camera, um, any of my expensive jewelry, things like that, and I'll take those home with me. I kind of you know, keep those with me at all times um, to make sure that even if there were a break-in and I wasn't here, the things that are most valuable to me wouldn't be taken. Whether you live in a dorm, a house, or an apartment, you need to be aware that theft can occur anywhere. I've always rented off campus. And uh, when I leave, I double check my doors and windows. I close all my blinds. I usually leave a light on, which they say not to, but makes people think somebody's home. Criminals are smart people. And next week, they'll be out holiday shopping in full force, too. I mean, I guess bad guys gotta go Christmas shopping, too. And I don't want them coming to my house and taking my Christmas presents. Don't forget to look out for your most prized possession of all, too. Yourself. Making sure that they notify family members where they are headed, if they are not going home, uh, who they are leaving with, uh, leaving some contact numbers. Just, just simple things to, to help uh, ease the, the minds of your loved ones. Stay safe. Happy Holidays. Ben Stanfield, Troy, Trojan Vision News. 
The Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving break starts tomorrow for Choin University students and classes resume on Monday the 29th. Well, Choin University literally got a taste of what life is like in other countries yesterday afternoon. Troy's international students brought some tasty treats from their home countries to the quad for a tea and coffee tasting. Contrella Jones has the story. Wednesday afternoon, the international program held a tea and coffee tasting with some sweets from around the world as part of their International Education Week. Not all of our countries that are represented by international students, we have 56 countries from, out of 856 students, so they're not all here today, but it's a sampling of who we are. This is not the first time Troy University has participated in the tea tasting. Events such as this one is an opportunity for the international students to celebrate and profile their own cultures. Often they're hidden. Um, people think they all hang out in Pace Hall, which they don't. They're in classes with all the students. Uh, they live around the town. Um, in fact, the majority of students aren't in Pace Hall. But it is an opportunity for them to come out and be uh, present in the community. And we like to hold it here on the quad for that very reason. For many international students, this was a wonderful and exciting day for them. They had a chance to share a part of them with the university. International student Abdul Alhamid tells us what part of the day they drink tea in his country. Uh, we drink uh, in the breakfast and uh, after the lunch and maybe sometime we, eat, we drink uh, tea or uh, ginger, you know. That. Kentrella Jones, Troy Trojan Vision News. Tonight, the tables will turn as American students will give international students a taste of American culture, offering Thanksgiving dinner for the students. And now taking a look at news from around the state. The State Board of Education is deciding whether Alabama should become the 40th state to adopt the same standards for teaching math and English. Officials at the State Department of Education say the standards provide a framework for making sure students learn what they need to know. And next in state news, the Internal Revenue Service is looking to refund $2.89 million in undelivered checks in Alabama. The IRS says 2018 Alabama taxpayers are due one or more refund checks that cannot be delivered because the mailing address errors. And last in state news, a dispute between Alabama's Medicaid agency and federal officials has been resolved allowing the state to keep, oh, to keep $500 million that had been under challenge. Governor Rowley announced today that the agreement ends a 15-year dispute that had threatened several financial harm to the program that provides health care to Alabama's poor.